Hello everyone and welcome to another how-to series video by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer here at Trend Micro. And today we're going over the Apex One and Apex Central system requirements and sizing guide. Now, I did a video about this before, but uh, have a lot more juicy uh, data to put in there. So I decided to re-record the video with all the new data. So off we go, Apex One base system requirements. The OS support is the same as it was in the previous video if you saw it, and if you haven't, uh, Windows Server 2012 and up. And I would recommend going to 2016 or 2019 simply to future-proof yourself and uh, you know uh, get new technologies in because new technology is great. Uh, processor requirements, uh, amount of agents really do scale the factor, but the bare minimum if you're installing it and have a few agents is four cores. Uh, memory requirements, same thing, uh, three gigabytes without endpoint sensor, eight with, but as you get more agents, you're going to need a bit more resources. Disk space requirements are very conservative, uh, seven gigabytes without endpoint sensor and eight gigabytes with. And then SQL Server has a nice little chart with it, but I'll try to simplify it a little bit. If you're on Express, uh, 2008 R2 SP2 or later. If you're on standard or enterprise, 2008 or later. And if you have endpoint sensor or are thinking about getting endpoint sensor, then 2016 SP1 or later, um, pending that decision. So a as of right now, there are uh, some edition IDs that are supported, but they're going to be expanded uh, in the very near future. So <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave those out, but I just want to make you aware that uh, soon, uh, just 2016 SP1 or later is required for endpoint sensor. Apex Central has uh, very uh, similar characteristics in their base system requirements. Uh, 2012 and up, again, 2016 or 2019, got to get that new technology in, got to get the old out. Uh, processor requirements, uh, it says it scales, and it does a little bit, but not as much as the Apex One server. So <laughs> once you uh, start getting a bunch of agents, you'll start seeing that level out. Memory requirements, 8 gigabytes. And that's true almost through, I, I think, through 50K agents. So uh, disk space, uh, 10 gigabytes minimum, and then 80 gigabytes, any 8, 80, 80 gigabytes is recommended uh, on an SAS drive just for the speed of processing and whatnots. Uh, the SQL server uh, it needs is very similar to the Apex one. So for Express, R2 SP2 later for 2008 and above, and then 2008 or later for standard enterprise. And then if you're going to have endpoint sensor and the database is going to rest on the same SQL server, might as well just go 2016 SP1 or later just so you can have support for both. Now, without endpoint sensor, the Apex One sizing guide looks like this chart. <laughs> so I'm um, just going to go over it very quickly. Uh, 3,000 uh, endpoints, you're looking at 8 cores and 8 gigs of RAM, and that's with Express on the system itself. So this is when you select the option, I want a SQL Server Express here. If you put it on there, this amount of resources is great. So once you start gearing up to 10,000, uh, somewhere in between 3,000 and 10,000, you're going to want to move off to your standalone um, SQL Server which is going to need four cores and eight gigs of RAM, uh, the SQL server. The Apex One server will need 12 cores and 32 gigs of RAM. So as you start going up, you're going to need to ramp and ramp and ramp, um, at least on the Apex One side, until you get to 25,000, and you're looking at 40 cores and 120 gigs of RAM. Uh, the SQL server doesn't really change too much, uh, but at this point, you're going to want to start discussing, like if you have 60K agents, getting another Apex One server up so you can balance out the load and distribute it. Now, Apex Central manages all of your Apex One, so the, the management requirement, uh, time requirement for administrators goes way down. So regardless if you have you know 200,000 endpoints in the environment or 25,000 or 50,000, it doesn't matter. You just register your Apex One to the Apex Central, and you're able to manage it through the one console. Now, Apex One sizing with endpoint sensor is a little bit different, <laughs> as you can see. There's a wealth of information sent up uh, through endpoint sensor in our attack discovery engine and a lot of metadata. So in order to do different investigations, there's going to be a requirement for a lot of processing, uh, a lot of movement of data, and it's going to have to handle that. So up to 3,000, you're looking at 12 cores and 32 gigs of RAM. And all of these require a standalone SQL and again, 2016 SP1 or up. And the SQL Server spec you're looking at for 3000 is 4 cores, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, and then we have a couple of settings here which really do affect performance of the endpoint sensor. The max memory allocation, just so you know, is on the server side. It's how much memory is allocated to do processing of very specific events. And the max metadata storage is the database size uh, for containing that cache 
the, the metadata cache. So you, you have options to increase this to a, a maximum limit. And depending on what you select for the metadata storage will really vary how much space you're going to need on the SQL server. So with that out of the way, uh, the endpoint count, uh, back to that. The up to 10,000 agents, you're looking at 40 cores and 120 gigs of RAM on the Apex one, and then four cores and 32 gigs of RAM on the SQL. And then 10,000 and up is where you're gonna start having to split it up so you can have the uh, proper distribution of processing across multiple Apex one servers. And again, Apex Central minimizes the management effort in this, so when, once you get to that level, you can contact us, and overall, uh, it's a very easy thing to do. So down below, uh, I just put this in here. I, I do have uh, plans for a video on the endpoint sensor if it's not out by the time this gets out. And it does go over some of this, uh, but I wanted to put it here because I feel like everyone who has endpoint sensors is going to be very curious about what, what these settings do and are. So when you're setting the Apex One server policy, you have the two options that we discussed previously, the max metadata storage and then the maximum uh, memory allocation. So on the right over here, and feel free to pause and read through it. I'm just going to kind of glaze over it. Uh, essentially, how much metadata do you want to store and how much memory do you want to set aside on your, your server to process preliminary investigations and the like? So those are the two things. And the default, uh, when you just start it out fresh and you don't have a policy applied to it, is 4 gigabytes maximum memory allocation uh, for 600 endpoint, uh, 600 endpoint agents. Once you start getting to that point, you're going to have to start upping those totals along with you know, your, your sizing requirements. Apex Central, much, much simpler to talk about in terms of general sizing. <laughs> so up to 5,000 agents, you're looking at eight cores and 12 gigabytes. And that is with Express installed on the system. Other than that, once you start moving off to a standalone, um, you're looking at you know up to 20,000, eight cores, eight gigs of RAM. And then your SQL server is what really takes the brunt of this particular product. So that's the one that's gonna be scaling up a little bit, but it's not a hard scale. So you're looking at eight cores and 12 gigs for 20,000. And at 50,000 agents, the server itself remains the same, eight cores, eight gigs. And the SQL server jumps up a little bit to 12 cores at 16 gigs of RAM. Now, if you need to go beyond this, we do have a uh, certain sizing for you know 200,000 agents. But it, at this point, if you have this many agents, you might as well go ahead and, uh, if you haven't already, engage us here at the Trend Micro Technical Support, and we can give you optimal sizing values for that and different techniques we use to support very large numbers of agents. And that's really it. That's the sizing and system requirements in a nutshell. Uh, not really much else to, to go on about there. <laughs> so just lots of numbers flying around. Feel free to uh, go ahead and rewind and pause as needed and, you know, get your server spun up and figure out the resources you need for your amount of agents. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.